Hey guys, Michael at Gotcha Rocks, and today I want to show you how to do a little bit of photography. Uh, most people don't know this, but if you just have one of these, it could be an iPhone or a Droid, you can take really professional looking photography. Uh, you could use uh, big, you know, name brand cameras and things like that. However, honestly, this is what I'm using for the majority of uh, our photography for our jewelry and stones. Here's some of our equipment. So it's not very technical. Uh, we're using a nice window here. Um, this is a uh, south facing window. And uh, this is just kind of uh, midday. So we've got like some soft light coming through. And so we're set up here just on a table and I have a piece of, you could use black cloth. This is actually from the inside of a photo tent. Um, I think you can order these and you can order them with like different backgrounds and stuff like that. I would highly suggest you get one of these black ones uh, and you can adjust the light uh, with your phone to make this kind of look gray. So that's, that's one little tip. So I'll show you here in a minute. The other thing, you're just going to need something to block a little bit of the sunlight uh, that's coming out. I just happen to have a mirror that's like this. I mean, honestly, you could put a chair on the table and hang a sheet in front of it. You just want to diffuse the light just a little bit. So um, I have a stone. I'll show you that right here. That's just on the table. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to look to make sure there aren't any really big, um, you know, uh, flashes coming from the sun or somewhere else and that you can really see kind of the nature of the, the pattern in the stone. Once you have your stone in place, uh, meaning laying on this, we're going to use our phone and we're going to use our camera feature on this. So this could be for the, uh, an iPhone or a, um, a Droid. So I'm using the iPhone 10 and it's got the two lenses here on the front. I probably could have gone with something, um, uh, you know, one of the grades down. But anyways, this is doing absolutely amazing uh, photography for me. I can't even believe the amount of detail that I'm able to get uh, just by adjusting a few little things when I take these pictures. So let's go over to the stone and we're going to take a look at how I actually set up a shot. So here we are. I have a stone right here and I'm going to hold my phone over like this and I always have it set to this one times as opposed to all the way back like this. One seems to be fine. Now here's, here's a couple things. If you try to take your photo like this and you get this really close and try to fill up the frame like you would normally with a, a camera, it's going to be completely blurry, okay? So what you want to do is actually pull the phone back like this and get about four or five inches. And I kind of try to like brace myself with my hand or something else. And we're going to tap on the screen and it's going to open up a little box. And this little box is going to allow you to adjust how much light is coming into the camera. And I always turn it down a little bit until that background gets a little bit dark and it really makes the stone pop out. Once you have it, hold, take the picture, and now we can edit the photo. Once you have your photos taken, go to your photos and find the photo that you just took. Here's the one we just took. Looks pretty good, right? Now, uh, your editing software is gonna be uh, very similar if you're using a Droid or an iPhone, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the concept is the same. Go to Edit. And the first thing I like to do is go here and crop. All right, so when you do this, uh, there's going to be a feature, and ours is right up here, and it's going to let you choose what shape you want. Always kind of, depends on what you're doing, but let's say you're going to put this on your online store or Etsy or something like that. You want square. So we're going to go like this. We're going to adjust our stone into the center and look at that. So it brought it up and it's all in focus because we had that like five inches of distance in between. And we also had that mirror that was in front and that could have been anything. All we were using it for was diffusing the light. Now, if you want to bring up the contrast or anything like that, there's usually a little button here that you can choose from a number of different things and it'll just kind of go through and you can adjust things up and down. So this is the brilliance. The one that I mostly mess with is the shadow. And I'll kind of use that to bring the background up and down a little bit. So I'm gonna go down just a little bit. So I'm at negative 41. 
Maybe we'll go up just a little bit. I don't want it too unnatural or anything like that. And then contrast. Check your contrast. And what I do is I really sit the stone next to the camera or the, uh, the phone and look at that picture and I get it as close to natural as possible. And that's it. Once you're done, you're done. You hit the done button and look at that picture. I'm going to zoom in. That's pretty amazing. So, and this is just on an iPhone. This is better than when I was using my macro lens with my Canon camera or my Sony. Uh, and I've done a lot of um, macro and uh, photography. So anyways, give this a shot. This will work with a Droid or an iPhone. If you're looking for one of these, I'll put a link in the description. And that's it. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Um, seriously, this is a great way to do really close up photography of anything you're working on. This will work with diamond rings. This will work with just plain silver rings. Doesn't matter. Um, so give this a shot. I'm using, once again, the iPhone 10. You could use a Droid, doesn't matter. I think the one that I had before was a Samsung. So give this a shot. If you have any questions at all, just do this basic setup. I'll be happy to answer any questions, but if you do this basic setup, I think you're gonna have a lot of success. Uh, the only tips I could really give is if you've got a bunch of light coming through the front window, wait till it goes in another direction. So you don't want tons of light coming in, just kind of diffused light. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the uh, subscribe button for Gotcha Rocks. Check out some of the other playlists and um, get out there and start taking some photos. Bye.